Hello, how's it going? This is Ink Slasher 44, and uh, today we're getting back into the zombies gameplay. And right now we're on round 10. I'm not exactly sure what round we get to, but we try to kill George, like I've said before, and fail miserably. Um, but I have a few things other than the gameplay that I'd like to talk about today, and uh, actually I actually have a lot of things I'd like to talk about considering this is a pretty long gameplay. First off, um, in, oh, I guess a week from yesterday, I will be done school for this year, and, um, that is really exciting for me. In the summer, I, um, I don't have too many plans. I plan on sleeping in every day, working lots, trying to get lots of money, getting a, uh, computer, um, getting, by then my HD PVR will be fixed hopefully and uh, I will have more Call of Duty gameplay I'll get into that in a minute though um, and yeah I'm just I'm really looking forward to the summer and mainly the sleeping part but I, I don't know it's just it's gonna be good to have a break and uh, right here the reason why I'm looking down these stairs um, is because I was trying to get points so that I could pack a punch the scavenger that I believe I had um, so we could try to kill George and uh, I, I'm about to get enough, and then we run away and go to the pack a punch. So that's why I am in control of these stairs, and I fail a few times. Um, so yeah, that's all I'll say for the gameplay until the end. Um, for in the summer, I plan on getting back into Call of Duty. So lately, I've been playing, and I've been doing pretty well. I've been going three kill death pretty much every game, if not better. Um, which is good. Uh, I guess the break worked. The reason why I took a break is because every once in a while I get into COD so much I start playing bad, and I, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it's just the way things work. But I got back into it, started playing it more, and I'm enjoying myself. So I'm going to try to get back into Modern Warfare 2, COD 4, World at War, um, uh, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, all those videos and I'm gonna start a little series I think uh, you'll find out what that is when it comes out but I think it'll be neat um, and I, I you guys really wanted vlogs like a lot so I plan on doing them but first I gotta get to a thousand subscribers because once I get to a thousand subscribers uh, I'll show my face and then the vlogs will be present I guess is the word I'm looking for so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be getting back into COD and I want to thank you guys very much because lately I've been getting quite a few more subscribers than I normally would. I get, like, the past few days I was getting, like, four or five around there. Uh, and thanks for that. Uh, there'll be lots more Minecraft if you subscribe for Minecraft. Plenty more. Um, I enjoy Minecraft. I think it's a good game somewhat. Um, but uh, there will be more Minecraft. Um, and uh, the main thing I would like to talk about is E3 and the games that I personally think were the best. Um, and I, I know this is a lot with personal preference, so just mind that as um, we go through and talk about E3. And I know I'm a little late. I just wanted to make sure I had all the information. Last night, Modern Warfare 3 was on Jimmy Kimmel. They showed some, uh, what's it called, the Spec Ops gameplay, I believe. Something like that. Um, so yeah, uh... First game that won the best showing at E3, uh, we'll talk about, uh, and just take a minute, and I want you to guess what you think it is. When I was guessing what I thought it was, I chose, um, what's it called? I chose, uh, Battlefield 3, just simply because I did not expect a that looking of a good game, and that from Battlefield 3. I'll get into that later, though. Uh, so, clearly it wasn't Battlefield 3. Um, if you picked Modern Warfare 3, you're totally wrong. Um, if you picked Skyrim, I thought that was a good choice too, uh, but no. Um, if you picked Halo 4, uh, it's a good guess, but I think it's a little too early to say that. Um, the actual answer is Bioshock Infinite. Uh, they got the showing of E3. I, I don't exactly what, know what the award's called. But yes, they did. Um, and I think it's good what they're doing. I really like the Bioshock series. I never finished either of the games. I got about... I rented both of them. So I got halfway through the first one and halfway through the second one. Um, so I don't really know how the story totally works. I do, however, know that um, yeah, it is a tremendously good series and uh it's very enjoyable to play and I, from what i saw it's first of all going to looking beautiful it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun 
Uh, and it looks like they're finally doing the right thing with the game. And if, if you saw the interview with Machinima, they were saying that um, they were going to make it so they had both long range and short range for weapons, and that you'd have to use all the perks you got throughout the game, which is good. And I failed hardcore like three times in a row there. It's pretty bad. Just realized that. So, uh, next game, Battlefield 3, the game I thought should have got uh, showing of E3. And reason being is... Um, if any of you actually watched the multiplayer reveal they did, oh my god, I was in awe. Like, literally, when I saw that, I I didn't even know what to say. First of all, because um, it just looked so real. Like, things were actual size. Like, when you saw the building fall, it looked somewhat like it would in real life. And I was just shocked by that. And from what I've heard, they're doing some really cool things with multiplayer, such as, um, one thing I've heard, I don't know if it's confirmed, but one thing I heard is that when you give someone cover fire as, like, the guy that gets the light machine gun or SMG or something, when you give someone cover fire, you're actually going to get points for that. Now, I don't exactly know how that's going to work, but I do think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's... One thing I think they're going to be doing that's really cool. Uh, now let's get into Modern Warfare 3. And I think Modern Warfare 3 is getting a lot more hate than it should be. And I will tell you why. Um, first of all, yes, it does look like Modern Warfare 2. But um, I didn't mind the look of Modern Warfare 2. Uh, but the reason why it's getting so much hate um, is basically because they think it's going to be shit. And I assure you it will not be shit. And I'll, here's why. When COD 4 came out, it was absolutely amazing. Everyone loved it, and everyone was hunky-dory about it. Um, so, uh, the COD 4 lifetime ends, and World at War is made. Everyone hates the game. MP40, yada, yada, yada. The game is nowhere near as good as COD 4. Um, when Modern Warfare 2 came out, it was not that case. People liked the game, whether you agree with me or not, you probably even yourself liked the game. It was a good game. People liked it for about three months, and then they just like, you know what, I've had enough of this, I'm kind of getting bored of Call of Duty. And it was a good game though, and here's my evidence for that. Take the time you played in COD 4, if, if you're a hardcore uh, fanboy of COD, that'll probably be your most. Then take your co uh, um, COD played time for Modern Warfare 2. Add those two together. Now take your COD played time for World at War and Black Ops. Add those two together. I almost guarantee you that the COD 4 and um, Modern Warfare 2 will be higher. And the reason well, for me why that is, is because for me those games are better. Um... It's just the way they are. I like those games better, and I think they're better made. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how I see that. Um, so, just keep an open mind when this game, with, when Call of Duty's coming out. Just, I think it's going to be good. Like, I, I don't know where this idea came from that Call of Duty is a shitty game. I have got more gameplay out of Call of Duty than any other game. And I really don't think you should say Call of Duty is down and out before you actually find out what type of a game it actually is. If it's a shitty game, if it's like Black Ops when it comes out, um, I will not like the game. I am not that big of a fan of Black Ops, and it's not because that's a bad game either. It's because it's boring. When I play Black Ops, I get bored really quick. I will go online, play three or four games, and get bored, and then go play Killzone. It's just, it's how it works for me. And I've actually gotten to Gears lately, which is, in my opinion, a great game. The first time I played it, I hated it, but this time I, I enjoyed it more. So, yeah. The next game uh, that I'd like to talk about from E3 is Skyrim. Now, as you guys all know, uh, the Elder Scrolls series is my favorite, and I can't wait for this game to come out. There's so many things that look good in this. First of all, the dragons look amazing. I never thought I'd say this about a game. But dra the dragons in it, just, they look right. They look like a dragon should. Um, also, I think it's going to be cool. I hope, I don't know for sure. I know the perk system, they're doing something like Oblivion, uh, where you can get perks dedicated to your certain attributes, which is 
amazing. I really hope the leveling up is like Oblivion and how if you use a sword, you're going to get more points towards uh, swordsmanship or whatever the hell it's called. If you use blade or blunt, it's count to more experience towards blunt. And I always think that should be the way you level up. Because why are you, you going to want to level up uh, sneak if you never use it, right? So that's just what I think. Um, and then the last two games that I want to like to talk about kind of go hand in hand. Um, you probably know what I'm talking about by now. But it's Halo 1, the remake, and Halo 4. Uh, we'll start with Halo 1. Halo 1 uh, was one game I've never played the online for. I've played the campaign. And I remember... How old was I? I was probably... In grade... Five. So, I have no idea how old that would make me. But that's about six years ago. Six, seven years ago. We were sitting in my friend's living room... Um, playing uh, Halo 1 until 4 in the morning. And at... In grade five, that's a long time. Like we, I got over there at like five o'clock, and we played it till five. We played for that for twelve hours straight, just the campaign, and I loved it. It was such a good campaign, even though we died a lot. I still love the game. That just shows you how good of a game it is. So yeah, uh, that, that's just a small part of that. But one thing I did see when I was watching like the trailer. I didn't think it looked that good. Like, I really didn't think the remake looked that much better than the first one. Like, of course it's gonna, but I don't think it looked as good as it should for a remake of a game. I think if Halo 1's gonna come out, it should look far better than Halo Reach, and I didn't think it looked better than Halo Reach. So, that's just my thoughts, because basically all the Dun's work is done for them already. Like... They already know what the game is. They know exactly what they're doing. They don't need to do any of that work. They should have the graphics at top notch. However, at E3, they did release uh, information about another game. And uh, that game would be Halo 4. For those of you who didn't take your head out of the ground, the Halo 4 was released. And um, there wasn't really... Um, too much that like was interesting they just gave a short little teaser uh, of what Halo um, 4 was gonna look like and uh, it, it was yeah it, it like it looked like Halo um, now I hope they're going back to more like Halo 3 but I guess we'll see um, Halo 3 many many of you uh, may not know this Halo 3 was the first online video game for a console I ever played um, now, I did play Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike Source prior to that, but, um, Halo 3 was my first multiplayer console game, and, um, I loved it. That is the whole reason why I bought an Xbox. It wasn't for Call of Duty, it wasn't for any of that, it was for Halo 3. Um, so when Halo 4 is coming out, I hope it's gonna be a lot like Halo 3, but... Unfortunately, I almost guarantee it's not, and there is a huge, huge reason for that. Um, the reason is, is if you watch right at the end of the trailer, underneath, it doesn't say made by Bungie or Bungie, a little Bungie symbol or anything. It doesn't say that, which suggests, I'm not positive about this, but it suggests that um, Bungie will not be working on this game. And, uh, what it did say at the bottom is just Microsoft Studios. Um, so, that just makes me think that it won't be Bungie making the game, it'll be Microsoft Studios, which isn't really a good thing. Um, so, just keep that in mind, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, so yeah. That are the main, what was that, six games that I really, um, were, was, inter were, was, were was interested in, I guess, um, and they really sparked my interest. Other than that, I wasn't too interested. There was the Wii U, which just looks like Nintendo trying to make more money. Um, there was also, what else was there? That was about it. Um, I wasn't too exhilarated with what came out and what I thought should have came out. So, um, E3 overall, kind of disappointing. Um, I know a lot of people said this was a really big year, and it is a really big year. I think that list right there is the most games I've ever been excited for, except for maybe when the Wii was first coming out, and I thought that was going to be really good. Which it wasn't. 
Um, but real quickly, I think the gameplay is actually going to end pretty soon. Um, so I just like to talk about what happened at the end here. Our goal was to kill George, and we were working hard on that. Unfortunately, one of my buddies here decided that the best way for that was to shoot George. Um, that's not a good idea. You want to shoot George when he's in the water. Um, unfortunately, when my friend shot him, wasn't in the water. Um, so, we kind of got raped right at the end here. My, my, you can see Caver11 there. Uh, he used to be just amazing at COD, so he was running around trying to save everyone. Unfortunately, he, uh, could not take the cake on this one. Um, but, yeah. So, that pretty much sums it up. So, remember, uh, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe. Um, thank you for all your support. Um, let me know what you want to see next, as always. So, until next time, guys, really hope you enjoyed. Uh, until next time, peace.